Yeah, thank you, Ryan. Good morning, everybody. So um, it was yesterday um, Dr. Mata who said uh, innovation comes before science. And it's about, I think, five or six years ago, Charlie, that you at the AHF pre uh, presented the, the kin size automated impaction technology. That was about five to six years ago when I saw it here at the AHF. I said, wow, this is really cool technology. But in Europe, as I said yesterday, we don't have a lot of money. So it took me quite a long time before I um, put it in my hospital. And then I wanted to know what is actually the effect of the automated impaction, not only clinically for our patients, but most importantly for me as a surgeon. We all know that uh, we surgeons, we actually, we, we love our job. We do everything for our patients, but we tend to forget actually what this involves to us. If we want to do 10, 10 hips or knees or whatever, we also get exhausted at the end of the day, but also at the end of our career. And we should not forget that. And that is where automated impaction can really help us out, as I will show, demonstrate to you in this presentation. There's a lot of literature out there that we surgeons, we really um, bring down our joints. 96% of arthroplasty surgeons have been shown to report pain in the upper part of the body. 66% have a work-related injury. Over a career of 35 years, approximately 4 million mallet swings will be done by, by our hands. 86% of females report pain in the hand, the wrist, forearm. 11% require surgery, and 10% of female surgeons needed time off because they had a work-related injury. In one case, we use about 3,000 joules to put in a primary hip. The result of that is that our energy expenditure for one hour is between 225 and 340 calories, and it's more in hips than in knees. By comparison, for one, this is similar to walking on a brisk pace or bicycling by 5.5 miles an hour just for one joint in one hour. The explanations in this paper were because of retractor placement in total hips, it is really exhausting um, for surgeons to replace a retractor the whole time and by the mallet swings. So what we wanted to know is what is the effect of um, one day surgery, 10 cases with a mallet in comparison to 10 cases with the kin size automated impaction. In order to, to do this, we had to have a standardized OR setup. As you know, I use the easy solution from a MetaVision. On a regular OR table, one nurse, one surgeon, and we start the day in one room, left hips, in the other room, right hips. And then the day starts. This study was done by myself, no residents, no fellow, nobody, just me and my nurses. Patient is um, positioned in a regular, on a regular OR table. We use the one minute draping system. Also draping is exhausting for us as surgeons. Obviously we use uh, the gripper that allows us to hold the retractor in a stable position. This is important because we waste energy by using um, a retractor placement. It has been shown to reduce the OR times as well. And then for one day, I only used the mallet, and for two days, I used the kin size automated impaction. By average, 183 um, hits with the mallet are done for one total hip, which is about 80,000 joules in one day. Before the day, in the midday, and at the end of the day, I did cognitive tests, and believe me, these are very annoying tests. We wanted to see what the, what the effect is. In yellow, you see the mallet day, and in blue, the automated impaction day. What you could see here is that the accuracy dropped more in the mallet day than in the kin size days. But also, it took me longer to make a decision. So the accuracy dropped, but the response time increased. The same for the pursuit rotor test. We also did physical tests. Postural tests here and um, the hand grip. And what you could see after a mallet day, the pain in my right hand increased significantly, significantly in comparison to automated impaction. On my left hand, I'm right hand, on my left hand it remains almost the same. Shoulder endurance. Look at this. At the end of the, the mallet day, it dropped significantly, whereas it remained the same in the kin size day. Then, 
salivary cortisol test done morning, midday, afternoon, what we see is in kin size day that my cortisol level dropped to a normal level. Cortisol is associated with stress. Whereas with the maladay, the cortisol level went up. This test is the reason why my wife always asks me, Christoph, did you use skin size today, yes or no? <laughs> anyway, so physically cognitive components, stress components in comparison to uh, athletes, what we do see is that surgeons, that athletes after an exhaustive test, the accuracy remained the same, it was very similar to what I did, but here again, we noticed that after a surgery day, my response time went up, and it went up more significantly with the maladate in comparison to the kin size. Here again, with the cortisol level, we see the same thing here. Kin size, it dropped, whereas in athletes and in the maladate, it went up. So yes, we are athletes. Now, why is this? It all can be explained by the ergonomics. There are validated ergonomical scores. I was um, filmed during these days, and what you can see is our ergonomics are significantly worse uh, with mallet impaction in comparison to the kin size. So these are validated scores used in the industry. So, conclusion. Yes, it improved my ergonomics. It resulted in objectively better hormonal stress levels. And I had lower physical and cognitive exhaust after one day of doing 10 total hips. And I think this is important. There is evidence here that when the patient is la operated later during the day, there is an association with more risk of intraoperative fractures. So we do get tired, and this is associated with more complications. And also, let's not forget about this. We surgeons also have a life. There is no reason why we should come home and we should be exhausted. Our family, we need to be there for them as well. So if you want to use automated impaction, it will improve the outcomes for your patients, but also the longevity of your own well-being. Thank you very much for your attention.